we are really going to have an interesting topic today. This is what someone asked me in the comment section. Hello, doctor. Watching a movie yesterday, I realized a lady gave birth to non-identical twins. But it happened that the DNA test was done on the kids and the doctor realized that the father was not the biological father to one of them, but the father to the other. So, is it possible for two men to fertilize two different eggs in a lady or getting a lady pregnant? knowing that the lady had sex with them in an interval of five days if yes what is that condition called thanks thank you very much for this question it is actually something interesting and something not to even think about but it does happen so there are three conditions in which this can happen the third is going to shock you so stay tuned to the end of this video and listen to everything and go back with something new everyone you're all welcome to talk pregnancy with dr noella where we tell you all about pregnancy and other women related health issues please if you are new to our channel click the subscription button such that every week you're going to get knowledge about pregnancy and women health issues so those who have subscribed thank you very much i love you god bless you so today we are talking about a very interesting topic it is very interesting but very sensitive so today we are talking about a woman who is birth to twins and at the same time these twins don't have the same father this is a condition called heteropaternal superfecundation so hetero means different fathers fecundation means to give birth so super fecundation that's many children that's why it is termed heteropaternal super fecundation so in this case it happens like a, but is it common no it is a rare scenario but what will really prompt a man to do a dna test it's for twins what will really prompt a man to do that most of the times in court cases where the woman wants the man to take care of the children and in this case they have to do a paternal test to prove that the child is his child so once they do that test they discover that these children have different fathers you see it matching with one of the child and it, the dna test does not match with the other child it's not easy for a man to handle that kind of news knowing that he has twins and one of the twins is not his own it's not an easy scenario or secondly that sometimes that the man can just see the two children at home and actually maybe the he really feels that one child is not his own and maybe you're really seeing to just physically a great difference between the two children so these are some conditions which can prompt a man to do this test when can this occur the first one which is the most common occurs when the mother has intercourse with two men at the same time we need to know that this type of twins which are formed are not identical twins that's the first thing because identical twins means one egg is being fertilized by one sperm and it tends to divide on its own so these kind of twins are always fraternal twins because the mother can release two eggs at once and different sperms goes and fertilize the egg so what happens in this case we said in order to calculate your fertile period you have your ovulation day five days before and at least one or two days after your ovulation day that's your fertile period so if you have unprotected sexual intercourse during that time you can get pregnant so in a woman who, who has intercourse with two different men within her fertile period these two sperms can get into the fallopian tube and if that moment she ovulates two times then these two different sperms can go and fertilize the two eggs which are present other cases which have been recorded of the the dutch twin boys where it was actually like a mistake in the lab in case of an in vitro fertilization so with in vitro fertilization we know 
human errors can occur so what happened in this case was that the, some sperms were still left of the other person so the the sperm of the intended father that will want to fertilize the egg with is being mixed into that tube so these two sperms are therefore present in that test tube and can fertilize those eggs which are present so in any of these sperms at that time can fertilize this egg and it is implanted into the woman and this last scenario this this is a scenario where this woman decides to carry the baby of another woman these are what we call surrogate mothers so that's what happens is when they take in the embryo and it is implanted in, into the surrogate mother in that time she might had intercourse with maybe her husband or her own partner then at the same time she also fertilized her own egg by her own husband so it's like almost at the same time so you see that in this case one is her biological child and the other one is not her biological child but she gives birth to two children so in that case these are the scenarios where you can carry two children and one is not even related to you or to your husband so these are situations where it's very difficult to make a decision so it's always advisable take your time and really think about it such that you can be able to make a right decision at that time it's not easy so if this was helpful to you and you learned something new please give a thumbs up to our video and if you want us to talk about any other thing any topic of your choice drop it on the comment section so if you want to have a private consultation with me you can follow the link below and book a private consultation with me thank you very much and god bless you